Sit down, she got I'm easy. So I'm like a Luke Fly talk out here. Across from me is um Miss Bobby Storm. Hello. Um, I met Miss Bobby Storm at a charity basketball game a couple months ago. Um, she was a nice young lady, and I was decided, you know, let me see what she's up to. She's been singing, I see on the Instagram. So I was like, let's let's get her up here for an interview. She's out here in the streets. Why not, Bobby? How you doing? I'm great. Excited to be here today. Really. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Um, so what? Where should we start? Oh, it just depends on where you want to start. I, mean, um, I never noticed the accent before, and I was asking you off camera, you, where are you from? I'm from Detroit, Michigan. So that's the the, the home of Motown. Yes, it is. So yes, it is. is that is it fair to say that's where you got some of your soul from, or most of it? Honestly, not really. No. Really? No. Okay. Go ahead. I mean, um, I think it's in my blood because that's okay. where I came from. But I learned how to sing from a flute. Nobody in my family can sing. I grew up Catholic. We sang boring hymnals. Mm -hmm. And um, it just really, I think I was just blessed. I think he just touched me. Okay, okay. Bobby Storm is in the building. This guy, I'm easy. Um, Bobby Storm can't be your real name. No, Stephanie. 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 That's so funny. That name just Night keeps coming death. up. Um, <laughs> you um, got something going on in <laughs> So, so, <laughs> so what, what, what started, what? made you become Bobby Storm? Um, so, I was in a singing group. That's where it started. Um, How old were you then? Mm, I want to say there were a number of singing groups. There was one with Mother Inc. There was one with uh, some girls from Detroit. And then there was another one that was actually affiliated with Tierra Marie. And um, she wasn't in the group. She was over the group, kind of, trying to be. Um, uh, I sense some animosity. No animosity. No? Mm -mm, just nothing worth talking about. Mm -hmm. heard, um, you, heard you. So, basically, it started started from me disconnecting myself from previous situations when I got in the last group, which was called 87, and we all kind of wanted to disconnect ourselves from previous situations. So, they were like, let's come up with new aliases. And I play basketball. I'm kind of the tomboy, sporty, sexy chick. So, they were like, we were sitting in my grandfather's room, and they were like, how about you be a unisex name. So it was between Bobby and Devin, and I went with Bobby. And then my grandfather died, and I had a lot of white hair coming in because it's real hereditary in our family. It starts hold at on, very hold on, hold young on, I was like, you're not that old to be having grades. Don't do yeah, that. Yeah, no, it starts at, at in eighth grade in our family. My grandfather's what? hair was all white. They called him the colonel. Oh, wow. <laughs> like seriously, it's in our family. So when we when I had during that time, it was stressful. So I had more coming in. And then I think I just wanted to be something for Halloween. And I was like, okay, last minute I could be Amber. And I dyed it white. And then I went on stage to perform one time. And a friend of mine was like, okay, Storm, I see you. So I did like a poll on um, Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and was like, should I add Storm? Should I add Storm to my last name? Mm -hmm. And everybody was like, yeah. And from there, I met Jill Scott when I went and sang with Eric Benet one time, and she was like, you have the best 
brand name, like your storm chaser. The storm is coming. Keep that. And from that, I was like, all right, well, if this queen says yeah, that, yeah, I'm right? going to go ahead and rock with it. Absolutely. <laughs> Bobby Storm's in the building. This is to sit down and she got it easy. You, you started to name drop some, some big big names right there. Who, who are some of the people that you've worked with that have made a big influence on you? Well, I've worked with Troy Taylor. Um, he found Trey Songs and started his whole career mm-hmm. with Sweet Lady with Tyrese. Um, he's doing the, the music, over, the production over at um, Star with another... Were you on Star? I was on Star. Which season? Uh, last season. Okay, what was your, your character on Star? I was a girl in the bar singing, sitting up real sexy like you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I do. And I was just singing and Star was having a, a moment where she she was going through this part in the in the show where she was envisioning everybody being her mother. So she was having daydreams kind of cuz her mother passed. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so she kind of saw me up there and I was the introduction to the song that later on her and her mother sang in the show. Gotcha. Did you enjoy the the acting did the acting bug get by Gia? You know what was crazy? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> I need to be all over that screen. No, oh, listen. I it, do. It's, it's amazing. It just, I, I have to. I love it. Um, you know what's crazy? When I got up there, I didn't even get the scene overview until I got finished with my makeup and was in the trailer. I didn't even know. Hold on. So I just mean... recorded the song first. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay and okay. so I got there and um, to record it, and they gave me the, the treatment, like, right before. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I think that the um, director for that day a woman, she's done a lot of stuff. I'm, I feel so stupid, I don't know her name. But I think she thought I already was an actress because she got mad at me. So I got up on on where the scene was. I sat up on the stool, and she, I didn't know. I just read what it was supposed to say, like, I'm supposed to sing and then look over. So I asked her, like, when am I supposed to look over? And she goes, you just sit there and sing. And so Star goes, she's actually supposed to look over at me, Jude is mm-hmm. her name, her real name. And so she goes, okay, well, you just, she starts, you start singing. She'll come up to the door and you just look over. So I had to kind of feel the moment. And I think she knew I was an actress. And I didn't think about how they usually tell you when to look over. Mm-hmm. I'm there's still, no cues or there's no, you know, gotcha. you don't just know. Like you, they have to tell you like, okay, look left. You don't think that they hear, don't hear you on TV. I'm mm-hmm. so used to doing everything live. Live, absolutely, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Monster. And so I just was feeling it. And I'm like, and when you dial, it makes me smile. I tune out the world. And when I look over, I'm like, this is a part that might seem dope to look over. I just looked over without her telling me. <laughs> and she goes, cut, cut, what are you doing? She started screaming at me, and I'm just like, I'm sorry. I've I've never I've never acted before. I don't I I didn't know that I'm supposed to wait on you to tell me. Mm-hmm. So she goes into another take. The take that ended up going on the show was, was the one, the first one. Was the part that I subconsciously. Mm-hmm. So afterwards, she apologized natural. to me though, and that was really dope for somebody of this caliber. So apologize because I just felt like, oh man, I'm never gonna work in showbiz again. <laughs> and she just and she was just like. I'm sorry, you know, for earlier. It was Thanksgiving. Everybody wanted to go home. We had been shooting for all day. Mm-hmm. So it was cool. It was a great experience. I, I would definitely love to um, further my acting career. If you could pick an actress out right now, who would play you in a Bobby Storm biopic? Mm. Cause some girls I'm thinking of, but they got this long hair that's getting in. But then, well, listen, they'll cut it off. For the I know ball. they we'll can cut it off for the thing. Um, you know what's crazy? Go ahead. It's gonna sound. I can't say. I I can't say. What you mean? Come on, there's a name on the tip of your tongue. You but she's see like bigger than me. So I don't... does it matter? Alicia Keys. Okay. All right. Or the chick that looks like Alicia Keys with the Robin Thicks. Paula Patton. Paula Patton. I see more Alicia Keys than Paula Patton, honestly. Okay. I can see that. I can see that. Anyways, it's a sit down. She got because I look up to her, so that's why I'm like. I mean, scared if, to listen, say that. Like. If, okay, no, you know what? Let me not, I'm not even going down that road. <laughs> um, 
So what are you working on now? What's the projects? What's the what's the situations now? What's what's in Bobby Star's life? Bobby Storm's life currently. I have a song coming out with Fred the Godson that I'm very excited about called Boy Bye. And I think it's like uh AJ nothing but a number vibe mixed with a little bit of like a Ashton Martin music. Okay. It's just really, really, really dope. And I think that with his um track record, I didn't even know him like that or know his music like right? that. I walked in. Frederico, you ain't no Fred. I did not know Fred the Godson. Wow, Fred, like, that's crazy. I walked in because I'm not from New York. I get it. You know what I'm it. saying? I and I, I'm not huge on like the rap game like that. Like, and so I walked in on a session with uh, Heat Makers at his studio, and I saw somebody sitting over there with some jewelry, and I'm like. He look like he a rapper or something. So <laughs> anywhere I go, you know, I, 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 on a drop of a dime, I sing, I, I market myself. So I started playing Lazy Love, and he takes his coat back off after he was about to leave, and he like, who is that? And Arsonist is like, that's her. And so I'm like, I got a record that I think a, a, a guy, a rapper would sound great on, and I play Boy Bye. He like, nah, before I can't even afford you anymore, I'm going to get on that. Mm-hmm. And he came in the next day at noon, and he bodied that record yeah. like Frederico Fred the Godson is known to do some heavy from his tone yeah. to his bars Absolutely. to and now I'm just a, a never ending fan and I believe with his record in New York his track record in New York and the way he the radio responds to him and his fans I think that this will go pretty far and lead people to the rest of my music as well how long you been in New York? Um, on and off eight years what made you take the leap to New York? Um, it was between New York and Cali, and I came out to New York for the summer for like maybe like a month, and I was like, I can't stand this, because I had just gotten a car, and I was in Harlem, and I got like six tickets in one month, mm-hmm. and I was like, I'm not going to pay a note on this new car for it to stay at my family's house. Mm-hmm. So What kind of car was it? A Hyundai Sonata. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And so um, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to go back there. I, I even left the tickets standing there like, I'll just have a warrant there. Cause right, that was struggle time at that. Right now, I'm good. You, I'm eating. Listen, but, listen. But back then was was struggle time. So I was like, you know what? Them tickets gonna stay right there. I ain't going back to New York. So if they looking for me, they gonna have to come a long way. Mm-hmm. You know. So I I went back to Detroit, and during that time, it was just one of those situations where it was like, all right, well, if I hate the place, mm-hmm. and it's cold, and it's not, you know, having me. Thotting, trotting around. I'm still young, so I want to think smart. And if I really want to get some work done, I need to go somewhere where I, I, I won't enjoy fun in the sun and just go. So I got my cat and my dream and just drove out here. I was calling people on the way here. That is the craziest shit I ever heard in my life. I was calling my people, I mean, people on the way here because I didn't know anybody here. And I was so calling you people. You mean to tell them, me you had a choice between the fun and the sun and the L.A. and the beautiful people and the Hollywood and all that. And you chose dirty, grimy-ass New York City guy? Everything is about sacrifice. But I, it's but closer I to home where I can hop on the road and tend... It, you got to think, if, you, if I'm struggling and broke, the chances of me getting a ticket home if something happens with a family member or something versus me hopping in my car and figuring out how to get some gas and, and drive home to my family... Is a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, I can I can appreciate and respect the fact that you like you knew yourself well enough to be like, you know what? I'm I ain't gonna get, get too much. Yeah, I can get too much. I ain't getting too much done out in the sun and out the fun. In the sun and the fun. Yeah, I got you. I understand that. Bobby Storm is in the building. <laughs> to sit down, it's a guy of easy. So, um, star. Star. You got the project out. Yeah. Well, what's Bobby's personal life look like? Um. You don't have too much time to yourself. No, you know, honestly. I got expectations that I build along the way of teaching myself my worth. And Meaning? That means that if I have nobody else, I didn't grow up with um, my stepfather. You know, him and I have a great relationship now. But during that time when we first met, you know, you're trying to give them. You're not my daddy. you know my daddy. Yeah, I, yeah, I got you know a couple of those. Saying? So you're not, you can't really appreciate things until later yeah, on no, and respect absolutely. them, you know. Mm-hmm. And um, so I didn't really, my father was murdered when I was younger. So I, I didn't really grow up with a father teaching me my yes. worth. Mm-hmm. So I had to just teach myself. And my mother is not the go out and she she don't even want to go anywhere without 
GPS like <laughs> around the corner. Yeah. So she's not like I'm the complete opposite when it comes to just venturing out and just being spontaneous. Mm -hmm. So I've had I've lived alone a lot and have to teach myself my worth and you know what I deserve. Then you go into different situations and you see this guy opens up the door for you. Oh, I didn't even think that was something. What you doing? I'm supposed to walk through here after you open. Uh -huh. You know, it's, it's just I'm supposed to walk on the inside of the street because I usually walk on the outside in case I gotta run from somebody. Some trying to kill me on the inside. You know, things gotcha. like that. Yeah. So you just teach yourself your worth after a while, and my expectations have grown teaching myself my worth, and I can't expect things that are unreasonable from somebody when I'm not at that level yet. So if I'm mean, walking what? down the street, I can't get mad at somebody hollering at me that's walking as well. You get what I'm saying? If I'm pumping, if I'm on the train, I can't get mad at somebody hollering at me that's on the train as well. How can I expect a man with a, a car if I haven't even gotten a car myself? Gotcha, How can I gotcha, expect I a man, you know what I'm saying? So if I have these expectations, I got to wait until I build myself to where I'm surrounded by more to pick from the barrel that have a little bit more of what I'm looking for. Heard you. And I done took care of enough niggas in my life. So that's pretty much what it boils down to. Somebody need to take care of, of Bobby. Woo! See, I like that talk. I like that talk. Bobby Storm in the building. <laughs> she got it easy. Um, um, so I'm having fun right now. I back, back somebody on the train on the way over here. A little aquamarine tied model. <laughs> I'm sharing. Happy Sweetie's Day to me. So so what's your type, Miss Bobby? I don't discriminate. I White men are like uh, intimidated by me, I've, I've realized. Because I sing for a living. I'm in a corporate. Uh -huh. Right after this, I'm going to sing for somebody's wedding. And white men never holler at me unless I got a wig on. Yeah, but you know, they like that European long hair look. And the white the white short hair just looks a little bit too much like, uh-uh. But you good in the hood, though. I'm good in the hood. <laughs> and if you're looking when I walk, they be looking. Absolutely. <laughs> Who's light skin over there? Who's light skin? Who that? Who that? Um, I would love to hear you sing, but I know you 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 said you were a little under the weather. So I am I'm gonna I'm gonna alley you to, you look, I'm gonna alley you put to you. And if you don't want to, feel free not to sing. But if you want to, we'd love to hear it. <clears throat> All right. I don't like to make excuses, so <clears throat> We used to be crazy in love, touch on a daily love. Now it's just maybe love. I don't want it, and I don't need it, cause I want the crazy in love. Beyonce and Jay-Z love, now it's just maybe love. I don't want it, I don't need it. That lazy love. Woo! And that's how we end the motherfucking Jesus Christ. Thank you for coming. Bobby Storm in the building. Um, Look into the camera. Tell them how to get in contact with you. The Instagrams, the emails, and how to work with you. That's amazing. My name is Bobby Storm. Most of my social media is B-O-B-B-I underscore Storm. But you can just Google me by just typing in my name. All of my music comes out everywhere. That record as well, Lazy Love. And it has an amazing video to match that has Jay-Z and Beyonce in it. The Curry's in it. Um, and the Obamas in it, and we got to get those views up, and I'm heavily active on my Instagram, and if you see me out somewhere, shout me out, dare me to sing, I don't care when and where, we gonna get this going, and I need as many storm chasers as possible. Ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Storm, sit down. Call you up,